robotics engineering is very very easy and it's not a very huge task to get a degree in the field of robotics you can join a college and complete your graduation but this video is not for that reason it is going to be a reality video like what is the exact reality and i'm going to share my experience it is going to be an honest review and it's my perspective everyone's perspective is different so don't only stick to my point you can also verify and cross check the possibilities and for the roadmap there are multiple videos on this channel you can just check out the other videos this is not going to be a roadmap video but a video which will give you the exact side of robotics in 2025 okay this is not a future prediction it is the current scenario okay so uh, moving forward with the robotics part i like found this video very very important because most of the students are entering into the engineering domain after their 12th grade so they should know about what is really happening in the field of robotics so um, robotics engineering is good like you can get into robotics you will get the basics of mechanical electronics computer all this is fine right but the main point is after graduation are we going to get a job okay many of the students think about this particular thing and it is valid like everyone uh, wants a job and want to make a living out of it and getting the like money but i will suggest don't do robotics engineering only for a job okay in 2025 especially because there are very limited roles which are available and those are high paying uh, jobs because you have to be a uh, like a good robotics engineer whose fundamentals are cleared and who have a good set of skills and you should suit to that particular job role okay let's say you are a robotics a software engineer you should be able to get to the programming side of it you should know the networking the communication protocols you should have a hands on hardware experience as well so these particular things are important in order to get a job in the field of robotics this was just an example but are there enough roles to get jobs for all of the students absolutely no you join any engineering branch all the students are not going to get the job in that particular stream mechanical engineering students are not going to get the core automation jobs computer engineering students are not going to get all the it jobs it's not possible that let's say in a class 70 students are present and all 70 students are going to get a job out of it that's not the case then what to do should we go for the robotics engineering or not i will suggest absolutely go for it if you are interested go for it but just check whether after my engineering i am not getting a job what will i do if you have the answer for that then go for any engineering branch this is applied to any engineering branch not only for robotics okay i am repeating this frequently because all the engineering domain students are not going to get the engineering jobs in their field itself you may have to change your field let's say robotics engineering uh, is not only about robotic software engineer it can be firmware engineer it might be to design the robots designer and the other things might be to the electronic side the other things might be to the marketing side as a robotics trainer you can teach robotics you can be a robotics consultant you can create content around robotics so be flexible okay not only for robotics but all the engineering domains that i wanted to say but coming back to the robotics side so uh, robotics is a good domain you get to explore all the things like from the mechanical electronics and computer you don't stick around only to the computer side and just uh, going to the software side you get to apply the software to the hardware side of the robotics and throughout that particular journey you learn about design you learn about hardware integration all those things are really fascinating instead of just sticking to one thing and just picking that particular domain and all those things it differs from person to person but if you want a good kind of exposure then go for robotics engineering and the next important point is like uh, which college and all those things i will suggest uh, this video is not particularly for the college side but still uh, you can see my other videos or else just research on the college side which college suits your finances and your goals as well or else to the skills part uh, some feedbacks all those things i will make a different video for that but those uh, things are also important to consider 
but uh, that doesn't matter for a long term period okay college can give you some kind of branding but for the long term period the main point is about skills that's i wanted to say so skills will matter a lot in the field of robotics engineering because currently the companies are limited the resources the resources are limited and the and the education is also limited the infrastructure for the robotics is also limited so you have to explore on your own so just tie a knot to your mind that you have to explore on your own and it's not hard in this particular era you have huge information provided on the internet just learn from the official documentation get a course which suits your budget and you are ready to go for it so that that's one thing like focus on your skills and not only technical but also non technical skills explore communication skills how to uh, like talk with people how to discuss around uh, how to um, make some content be flexible the next point is how i became a robotics engineer so on the degree anyone can become a robotics engineer i am also a robotics engineer on the degree point of view that's a, just a paper one of my friends said that but uh, coming back to the um, like my journey part in my school days i wanted to build an iron man suit that's that was my only motive i was not building any cool projects in my school days uh, i was involved in some other stuff like normal children do average students i was scoring good marks but still i was a back bencher or a middle bencher in those days so um, then i just like it got printed on my subconscious mind that i wanted to become a robotics engineer then i went to 11th and 12th grade like uh, till then i was not aware of the je and cet things in till my 12th grade i was not really aware still i have like i i joined the iit uh, academy for that but i was not aware of iits and all those things still still like i was unaware and one series came out where i got aware like there is a thing like iit but still i was not fascinated with the computer mechanical all those things i just wanted robotics that was my clear objective so uh, that took me to the corona pandemic when it happened in 2020 i just research like now this is the time like i should get serious and work around my things then i started freelancing which was not to the robotics side okay so i started freelancing video editing graphic designing uh, then uh, then then i just researched about robotics like are there any robotics degrees available then i got to know about like there is a degree about automation and robotics only two colleges were offering those degrees in the pune region in maharashtra so i just chose one of those colleges that is dy patil bimbri and then i just took that chance like i just want to do robotics i will just pick up two or three colleges and that's enough for me i didn't apply for top colleges because i was not that kind of guy who will score good marks in the exam competitive exams uh, that that is the thing so and also uh, i will just say here that my je and cet scores were not really great but it were decent so i took admission in automation and robotics engineering and then i i just uh, got into that particular field so if you want a detailed video about it i have already made so you can just check it out if you want like how a day looks like uh, in a robotics engineering student's life so you can just watch that video it will give you a better clarity what i want to say so likewise if you fix a particular thing you are going to get it like but you just have to make some moves around it so that's i wanted to say don't do how i did robotics engineering i didn't do it for job anything i just did it for the experience purpose and for the learning purpose that's the uh, reality it might be harsh but that's the reality never do a degree for job or any other thing uh, because i think that's not the best way to get a degree even if you get a job then what is the next thing you want to do that's the question right so it, it was just a perspective from my side hope you like this video and if you have any doubt just comment it below i will be happy to answer till then grow learn and explore together bye